So now let's work on this create post component. So user will be able to create post with title, body, and the image, right? Okay. Let's work on that. So first of all, I'll be uh, importing use state hook, use stat state hook. Here I can create const state, right? I can give it a name of title and set t i t l e. And initially this will be empty. Use state and empty. Okay, I can duplicate that by pressing Alt Shift Down key and here B O D Y body and set body B O D Y. Okay, so I can write everything on a new line in here. In here, I can add on change. Yeah, we'll be receiving event and simultaneously I'll be updating this set title set title and this will be event dot target dot value like so and I'll give this a value prop and the value will be equal to title so our state and this input is are in sync with each other right so I'll copy this control C I'll give this in here as well here I can write body yeah, and set body okay and here I'll be getting one more hook that is uh, image image and set set image and this will be initially empty now in this input yeah in this input we can add some stuff so first of all i'll be adding on change c h n g e c h a n g e change and we'll be receiving an event and uh, what i will do i will console first of all i'll do a console dot log and event dot target dot uh, file maybe something like that i don't know yeah, it is files. So I'll do this files. Yeah, this one. Okay. And yeah, for now, let's save this and let's see if I try to select any file. I'll click on this create post. I'll click on this upload. I'll change this path. Control V. Right. I'll select this image. Okay. Now in console, you can see we have this file list. It is, it is an array inside this zero. We have this details of the image, right? We have this type, we have this image and a lot of stuff, right? So we need this file object, right? Okay. So we can access it from this zero, zero index, right? So we have this array inside this array. We have the zero index and it has all the details. So instead of console.log, I'll update my state, right? So I'll update my state set image. Yeah, like so. And now I can post this all the data to the backend. But before, before posting in here, uh, I need to upload this to image to a separate storage service. So I'll be using this Cloudinary to upload my images and we'll be storing the URL of that in our database. Okay. So you can sign up to the your, this Cloudinary account if you don't have. So, but uh, in the sign up, you need to remember one thing, you should customize this name, right? You need to customize this name. This is basically a cloud name. So you should always customize this name, okay? While signing up, but I will log in into my account because I already have accounts. So I'll log in into my account. So when you will sign in in your account, sign up in your account, you need to verify your email and you will see some kind of screen like this. So you can close that, okay? Now, what you need to do is you need to click on the settings and in the setting click on this upload right and here you need to enable this enable unsigned uploading right now in here maybe you can add upload preset yeah and you can give it a name of let's say insta clone maybe right signing mode will be unsigned yeah and i think you can save this okay yeah so we have this insta cloned and mode unsigned okay 
so now let's i will be saving this uh, in our cloudinary so i'll go to again my home screen but remember here this insta clone right remember this name right because we'll be making use of that so you can use whatever name you like okay yeah so i'll go to this home home page of the cloudinary okay so yeah and now i can go to my code part let's create a method in here right const post T E T A details. So first of all, we will be posting our image. Then we will be making a separate network request to our Node.js server, right? Okay. So in here, first of all, we need to create a data, and this will be equal to new form f f is capital f o r m data. Now, because we are uploading a file in here, so we need to use this form data. If you don't know this, then you can Google about right. Uh, fetch uh, post, right? You can Google about that, and you can read the on this Mozilla, right? Here, I'll search for Control F F I L E. Yeah, here you can see. In order to upload file, you need to create a new form data, and we need to append some stuff in here. Right, and then we can add attach that in the body, right? Yeah, we can do that. Yeah, so you you can always follow the documentation whenever you find some stuff confusing. So in this data, we need to append some stuff. Append. So we'll be appending first of all the file, and the file we have the file in this image, image, right? We have the file in this image, right? Because we are updating our image, right? Okay. Yeah. Then we need to up, uh, uh, append. One some more stuff and that is upload underscore p r e s e t p r e s e t and the name of that is insta clone and insta clone. Remember we gave this insta clone s e clone name right in here. Remember? Ah, uh, not in here. Ah, uh, in the setting. In this upload. And yeah, this one, right? Insta clone. Okay, so make sure you use your name, right? Okay. We need to append some more stuff, right? We need to append a cloud name as well. So cloud name will be C L O U D, C L O U D underscore name. Remember, I told you to customize your uh, uh, name while signing up, right? So that was a cloud name. So my my is mine is C N Q, right? You can find your cloud name here, right? In here. So mine is C N Q. Make sure you use your name, right? Okay. Yeah. Yeah. So now I can make a network request, fetch, and now we can make a network request for you, and you can find the URL of that in you in the home page. You can click on in this more, and you can copy this base URL. Control C, minimize that. Open VS Code, and you can paste this. But in here, you need to put some more stuff. Uh, slash image and slash uplo. ad upload like so you need to add these two things as well right on you need to append these two things in this url right okay i think that's that's pretty much it and we need to make a post request so as a second option we will be passing method and that is post right okay and in this body now finally we can use this data attach this data in this body like so okay now we can chain on then and we will get a response first of all we will pass that response to json okay and then we will successfully get the data and i think uh, i need to put a this right arrow okay so i can console dot log the data and If something went wrong, then I can catch that in catch block error, and I can console log error, right? Okay. So now let's let's test this. So we will be calling this post details, 
right when user will click on the submit post right okay const oh not const <laughs> on click yeah on click post details likes let's save this okay so right now we will be we are just testing our cloudinary right we are just at testing cloudinary so we'll be just uploading image not the title and body because we are not posting anything related on the back end but instead we are just oh i'll copy this oh i'll use this image and i'll click on the submit post and i'll wait for a response in this console right okay now you can see amazing we have got a response inside this response we have this url now if i can copy this url some way oh yeah i can do that control c and now now let's go here and now let's remove this course quotes and let's see our image right now you can see our image has successfully been posted in cloudinary now you can do you can go to your cloudinary and click on this media and you can see what image you posted right yeah okay uh you can close this yeah this is the image right you can see this new and yeah this one we posted just posted right okay this is amazing right isn't it okay so we have this url right we have this url and there is secure url that it has https so you can you can use any one of them you can use this either url you, you can use this url secure secure url has this has this https and it has http you can use any one of them okay so now what i will do i will create one more state in here I'll shift down key and instead here I'll be writing the URL. URL like so and set URL. Set URL like so and initially this will be empty. Okay. Now uh what I was saying once you will get the data you can update the state right set URL and data dot url we have this url right in our console dot log right we have this url in the data okay i think now we can make a separate request network request to our server to post the data right okay now before posting that what i will do i'll close this client and instead i'll open my server in my models in this post model there is a photo and i'll get rid of this default and instead i'll copy this and i'll make this photo required right okay let's save this now uh, i need to go to routes and the post route create post in here will be uh, getting url as well and here we'll be adding one more condition if url is empty right or maybe we can add a pick right pick will be a more good name pick p p i c pick okay and in here we will be adding pick as well right pick will be equal to pick okay yeah i think that's pretty much it okay yeah yeah let's save this right and let's see if our server has restarted okay servers has restarted okay it's beautiful and let's make a request now let's first see the route which where we want to make a request so that is create post okay we can do that so fetch and control v create post or we can copy that from sign in maybe some of the stuff in here isn't it ah uh, yeah we can copy that basic code right okay so i think we are done with that right okay so we are making a two separate network request once on a cloud name so this will take a little bit while to create a post right yeah this will take a little bit of the while or we can create a maybe a separate method to do this stuff right maybe it's it's oh, it's fine it's fine okay we can do all this stuff in this this separate uh, in the single function as uh, only right okay so we are making and in this body we we need to add 
what all things we want to post we want to post the uh, title right and title will be equal to title title the key and the value both will be same so i can just condense this down to titan similarly for the body but yeah but we have we need to send something called as pick and that that pick will be equal to the url right url url this one right and we are setting this when we are successfully getting it uh where is that yeah i uh, know where is that yeah this one we are updating when 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 the when image is being stored in the cloud right okay so what else left i think everything should be perfect right if there is the error then we are showing we can get it of this console.log okay and if the user has created the post we can navigate user to slash okay this is also perfect and in here maybe i can show the message created post s u double c e double s f u successfully and i need to go to sign in and i to i need to copy this history and this materialize control c control v i need to import history as well import uh some stuff use ha huh, not use import from react outer dom and that is called history use history and i can initialize that const okay and initially this will be ah yeah this this is fine okay i think we are almost done so let's test this and if we will have error we will solve that right no big deal right okay so let's add title a m amazing a m a amazing weather and maybe title i am a n j o enjoying today's weather okay we can upload the image and yeah maybe this one we can click on the submit post you must be logged in oh i think that is a protected resource let's have a look on the on the ah uh, where is that post oh that is a protected resource so we must be logged in okay okay so i think we sh this is enough for the video we'll be working on how to do access the protected resource right actually we need to attach uh, the token right with this header so i'll uh, i'll work on that in the next video we'll be working because video is getting too long so i'll see you guys in the next video